So we're hunting dinosaurs today. I've never done this before, so I don't know what we're gonna need, so I brought everything. 45, 556, 308, 50 cal, full metal jacket, hollow point. I don't know what it's gonna take to take these things down, but I know that I'm gonna be prepared for it. Wait, you meant fossilized dinosaur remains. Oh yeah, my head was totally somewhere else. Oh no, no, of course I knew that dinosaurs were extinct. Everybody knows that. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Um, I just gotta drop some stuff off first. How's it going today, guys? So we may not be going out and hunting living, breathing dinosaurs. My hopes and dreams are crushed. But we are going out into the Badlands and we are searching for dinosaur fossils, which is equally as cool. Next best thing, if you think about it, I mean, you can't hunt the dang things, you might as well hunt what's left of them, right? Right? If I get to live out one of my many childhood dreams as a paleontologist to hunt some dinosaur bones today. Meeting up with my brother-in-law, Cameron. I actually have no idea where I'm going. I asked for an address, and I got the most oil field instructions of how to get to this place that you could imagine. So you can take a left, and then you're gonna see a power plant on your right. You're gonna keep driving until you go over three sets of railroad tracks, and then on your right-hand side, you're gonna see a pit bull and a go-kart, but you're gonna keep going. That and my phone completely died. It won't turn on. It's not out of battery. It just stopped working when I was stopping to fill gas. Not sure what happened. It's gonna be an adventure all around. We're gonna see if we can even make it here. <laughs> So I'm gonna go off of memory and see if I can find where I'm going based off of my <laughs> the instruction I was given last night. I'm also running late too, and since my phone's dead, I can't call them and let them know that I'm running late. So I've gotta get this first try, or they're gonna wonder where the heck I'm at. Or we're gonna see if my spatial navigation skills still remain supreme. First try, we're gonna get it first try. This looks oddly familiar. Oh, come on. Yeah! Oh, yeah, all right. Now I gotta make sure they haven't left without me. It's my brother-in-law, Cameron. What's up? Since he married my sister, he has to put up with me. <laughs> the unfortunate side effect. The unfortunate side effect of marriage. Sand in the eyes, dust in the beard. Gonna be I'm gonna regret saying this in about 30 minutes, but I can't wait for the sun to come out. I'm actually kind of <laughs> chilly. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna regret that one. That's oh yeah. For sure. Oh yeah. Savannah found a horn. Can't remember what saddle it was in. I think it was that one over there with the sagebrush. You guys found that leg bone up high in the gumbos, just right around the corner there. And I found the nose horn down on right behind that saddle. Hopefully stuff will be down here kind of on this level here, you know. We'll just have to explore it, go out on some of these edges and stuff. Well, if you really want to get my dad worked up, find an arrowhead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you find like a, a trinosaur tooth, you know, one of the little over ones. <laughs> you find an arrowhead. You hear words you've never even heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, that's where I get my creative ability. <laughs> so arrowheads are all property of who? Me. Are all arrowheads <laughs> are all property of you. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> that's Cameron. He hasn't this one yet. <laughs> I think this is the layer we want, Cameron. It's starting to look familiar. Cause is, that, is that the first coal line up there? See, on this hill, yeah, down there it was elsewhere because it's just had different... Different geological up. columns? Yeah, they're just pushed up at different different areas. We're getting close to the right spot. For sure. I can feel it. Shrapnel. It's unrecognizable. It's been weathered a lot. But you can see all the... Oh yeah, you can see that it's a bone because yep. of the air pockets. Yep. And then, if you're ever confused... If it's fossilized or not, it sticks to your tongue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be walking around sticking all kinds of rocks in my mouth. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna see the, the curve right here. Yeah. This would have been one of the digits on one of their, their big friggin' toes. This has got a curve like a vertebrae 
or just sucked in on the side. So what size animal is that from, or reptile, I guess? <laughs> um, if they're kind of sporadic with the pores and stuff like that, most likely like a plant eater. Your meat eaters are really porous, like really air, a lot, a lot, a lot of air pockets. So how do you know if something is, you know, prehistoric or if it's a cow or mule deer or something? Uh, anything modern will be white, slightly yellowed. So because of the, yep. you know, all the discoloration and oxidation on it. And the little growth on it, yep. Huh. So that was, was exposed and then carving down into it now. At least it's nice soft dirt, huh? Yeah, but it's pretty weird, don't you? It's tipping down. If it could be a process or it could just go a little bit and be done. Beat this back, bottom, lower jaw. Another little piece of wet to it. Hmm. Some kind of a fish. I think I'm just gonna leave it there. It's not gonna make me millions. The hunt continues. <laughs> So Cameron's father gets really frustrated when he find arrowheads. <laughs> He's always looking for them, and, uh, and I just found one. We're gonna see. I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> oh man. You know, a lot of guys should dig under this right here where all this is a little bit. Now it's it's a little hot spot. the edge of it. It's pretty pretty sand because see it comes from up here. Those other worth ever worth anything? Yeah, you can find some good pieces. That one wouldn't be really it's just kind of, yeah. it'd probably break apart when you try oh, to remove yeah. it. You'd have to cast it to get it out. Then you're not going to have much. Yeah. Warm. It is getting really warm. I now regret when I said, can't wait for the sun to come out. <laughs> the sound you're hearing is big rattlesnake. <laughs> 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 Camera and I take the high ground, Bob just goes right in. Well, I don't know how, what I'm going to reach in there to get him with. I want something a little longer than my camera. <laughs> I don't think you have much options out here. He's big, boy. He must be about as big around as a V8 can. He's right here in the bottom of this. See where this... Oh, uh, I see it, yep. I think we can just leave him be. I think so. That's probably the smart thing to do. Yeah. So that's when you uh, can avoid a situation and not get hurt or screw around <laughs> and have a life-threatening situation. <laughs> I don't want to mess with him. Right? <laughs> I mean, I feel... Well, I seen him slithering underneath there when I pissed him off and I almost stepped on him. These things are fast, too. That's what I hate about them. We, yeah. He's coiling up now. Let's see Travis. Okay, I'm good. Peace out. All right. <sighs> Pretty much only areas. We just have to look here. Savannah dug three nice little toe bones out right over there. <laughs> Cameron found the T-Rex toe bone right over here. So we just finished our hiking trip. Probably about eight miles. You can't tell from the video, but it's, what would you say, Cameron? 95 degrees? big desert out here very little wind a little bit humid so we're off a spot that's right off of this county road we really didn't want to hike anymore so we want to find a place that's right off the road with the four-wheelers this is the spot that my sister found a bunch of stuff the last time she was out here we're really not seeing anything this time we'll see well it's pretty bone dry we didn't find anything over here unfortunately it's been a while. well we heading back at least we had a uh, got a good workout in. Yep. All right.
Hey, buddy, come here. Come here. <laughs> oh, you're a good dog. Good dog. Go get him. Cameron, that was too much for the first run of the season. <laughs> was that the first run of the season? Picked the hottest day of the year. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Oh man. Find all the stuff that we got. <laughs> we did find, we, we found three, stuff. Like, <laughs> I touched prehistoric items. <laughs> I'm, I'm set. The highly classified man cave. Yeah, it's under construction right now. This has grown since the last time I've been in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is, this is incredible. Is that someone in the family? Uh, this is my grandpa. No way. Way, way. I gotta get the glare Golden, off of that. Gloves. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so awesome. Here's Cameron's. Uh, no kidding. Oh, yeah. T Rex and dinosaur claws. Oh, it's all, that's a wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's Let's a door. Into the other part that he built. Holy cow. All right. Well, I got shower this is the. Meat room. This is the man's version of Narnia right there. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, there's how old you were when you hit that skull. That's awesome where, right there. Where the hammer was. Mm. That was some of the stuff that we were finding chunks of, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You can see picture. the ribs on the inside and the vertebrae. Yeah, That's cool. The vertebrae right there. Oh, that's the one that Cameron found? Yeah. This is the T Rex toe. That was right there where we stopped there. Oh, yeah, you could tell that was a. Well, mine was like tiny, but it was the same shape, so it probably was a toe. Oh well, yeah, I know. That tiny little thing I found. Those are mammoth teeth. Those are roots coming out. Little turtle. The T Rex claw. Now I'm starting to wonder if I had found anything that looked like this. Because I wasn't expecting that color. Yeah, the color is full, yeah. And then this is that over raptor jaw I was telling you about where when we stopped and I was looking at that. Oh, when you're looking at that jawbone and you're wondering if it was... Well, I was telling Cameron right over mm -hmm. that next drainage over there. That's where we found, we found that. Little turtle skull and turtle shell over there. Oh, it is a skull. <laughs> he looks, looks like a happy little guy. <laughs> <laughs> there's where, there's where that trike skull was where I picked up the hammer. Oh, yeah. The hammer. So little That's the hole little Cameron was. <laughs> that was a... How long ago was that? I was a freshman, probably. In 2000. Here's one of the jaws from him. Man. This was another one. Oh, that same spot? The excavation? Well, within oh. that area. They're kind of on three different and points. And that claw, Cameron was offered four grand for that claw and turned it down. Oh, those those pine cones? There's those pine cones I was telling you about, yeah. The pine cones, the leaves Cameron was looking for. Sorry, Cow. Holy cow! Man. Man, I wish those things were still alive. That'd be kind of cool. That's crazy. <sighs> you should get a Dodge pickup and mount that on the front. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the Pelt Narnia door. <laughs> it was crazy because I didn't even know that there was anything back here. <laughs> well, you hit the light and it's gonna. And yeah, when the light comes on, you can tell, but. When the light's off and it's black, it just looks like a black painted wall. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's, I'll be back in there. That's awesome. Boom. <laughs> Fornarnia! Fornarnia. So we've got a... Top of a process. Well, there's your toe bone. So that's top of a process. That's a vertebrae. This one is... is that spit also? Spit tooth. It's a spit tooth. Off of Triceratops. See, it would have... It would have been in his jaw. It would have ran up one of these veins like that. And then when he wears out this tooth, this one comes into play and then so on and so on. There's rows of them teeth just stacked up. And we've got a toe for what, probably a turtle? Or a crocodile. Or a crocodile, that'd be awesome. I think it's a finger bone, it's not a, yeah. Finger bone, a little bit narrower. Awesome. Arrowhead. <laughs> That I didn't find. I did. I didn't find this one. <laughs> I would have found it. <laughs> <laughs> I was right oh, in the spot you were going know. to. It was a. Like, the only thing that was visible was the notch on the end. That was the only reason I saw it. I would have looked right over it, but I saw the little hook. And I'm like, that's an arrowhead. It's got to be an arrowhead. <laughs> <laughs> I 
What's this guy? He was a toe bone. What's left of it? After a few years of being exposed, eroded, eroded on. Well, we didn't find nothing today. That's good. <laughs> we found the sun. That was easy. Yeah, we definitely found the sun. Sun found us. Found the snake. Oh yeah, found a snake. That was exciting. So that's it for today, guys. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. I've been incredibly busy packing up all my stuff, moving that into storage. It's been running nonstop. But today was a uh, today was a good break from everything. Go out and do something fun. Even though my breakfast consisted of caffeine and coarse sand in my eyes. But no, it was an absolute blast. I was actually really surprised that you know I thought it was going to be you know you might find a fossil when you go out there. And to be honest, like you find. A lot of stuff it's just a matter of finding stuff that's things that are really interesting like when you go out there you get to find prehistoric fossilized items left and right like everywhere you go I mean that's every single spot that we had we'd find something whether it's just vertebrae remnants um, you know parts of things that were just too blown up to take back and it's it's really cool to be able to you know be able to touch prehistoric items that have never been found by another human before and it's uh, plethora of them it's absolutely awesome so i'm really excited it was a really fun time i'm glad that uh that cameron and his dad invited me to go out it's uh you know, it's a really cool opportunity okay this is just getting annoying there's a new video soon see you later bye